Joining us now is Dr. Tara Sander Lee, Senior Fellow and Director of Life Sciences at the Charlotte Lozier Institute. Tara, thanks for joining us. A recent Fox News poll found that the majority of Americans support a limit on abortion at six weeks. That's significantly earlier than we've seen in the past. Why do you mm -hmm. think that is? You know, I'm actually not surprised. I mean, America is starting to understand how the abortion industry has lied to them for 50 years. Science reveals the undeniable humanity of the unborn child like never before, and the American people are responding with compassion to protect these children. Um, a recent poll by Susan B. Anthony List actually found really similar results to the Fox News poll. Most Imp Americans in key battle states, like my own state here in Wisconsin, reject abortion on demand and support candidates that put limits on abortion compared to extreme Democrats we support unlimited abortion for any reason right up until the moment of birth. Mm -hmm. So the American people from across the country, they want to limit on abortion at all stages of pregnancy because they know, they know in their heart, they know because science reveals this, that the unborn child is a living human being at six weeks when the heart is beating to up to 15 weeks when she feels pain. So the Americans are tired of age-old lie from the abortion lobby that the unborn are just a ball of cells. They, they know better. Science has revealed the undeniable humanity of the unborn child, and they're responding to that. Mm. And one thing that Alito's draft opinion so expertly laid out was just how much of a sham the Roe decision was, and that's perhaps the hardest hurdle to get over when trying to reveal the truth to someone who is pro-abortion. How can we do this? Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, Alito got it right when he stated in his draft that the Constitution makes no reference to abortion. I mean, abortion is not protected under the Constitution. Roe got it wrong, but this court can make it right. The truth is that because of that wrong decision, Roe has caused the death of over 60 million babies of every gender and of every race over the last 50 years, some right up until the moment of birth. Babies with beating hearts, that suck their thumb, that hear their mother sing, that respond to touch and taste and feel excruciating pain when they suffer at the hands of an abortionist. So those who ignore the science and suppress the truth need to be reminded of the humanity of every unborn child. And that's how we need to respond. And you can actually see with your own eyes what science of today reveals. You can go to a, our website at voyageoflife.com to see the undeniable scientific truth and the humanity of the unborn child. And let's talk about that science, which you know so well. On Face the Nation this week, Nancy Pelosi denied that science increasingly reveals the humanity of babies, and she said that overturning Roe versus Wade would be a slap in the face to women. What did you think of her comments? Well, I sincerely question where Speaker Pelosi has been um, and whether she's been asleep for the past 50 years. I mean, Hasn't she heard? Hasn't she seen? Um, it's really unfortunate that after three years of telling America to follow the science, she is now ignoring the science because it's inconvenient to her extreme political position of legalizing abortion right up until the moment of birth. She doesn't have to look far for this evidence of major scientific um, achievement that have revolutionized ultrasound technology, fetal diagnosis, and the science of fetal pain. P sorry, fetal pain. Doctors are now treating babies in utero before birth, and some as early as 15 weeks, and at the same gestational age that Speaker Pelosi proclaims a right to kill. I mean, we know that before Roe, the black and white dots of an ultrasound could barely identify the head of an unborn child in the womb much less show the undeniable humanity of the unborn child that we see today with absolute clarity. So overturning Roe v. Wade would take us out of the same extremist camp as countries like China and North Korea that force and lie, that force propaganda and lie to the people. I mean, under Roe, America is only one of a handful of countries that allow such extreme abortion up to the point of birth. So, so if Speaker Pelosi really cared about women, she would not allow such extreme laws that kill unborn children and put women at serious risk. And she would not deny the science that has been, that is the truth and has been revealed and that is all around her for evidence. Well, see. thank you for all the research that you do on this and the way that you revealed the truth. Dr. Tara Sanderley from the Charlotte Lozier Institute. Thank you so much.